I'm here with men's and women's cross country head coach Mike Frucci. And Mike, last time out down in Gainesville, the women had a really good performance, a top 10 finish. Um, talk a little bit about their performance down in Gainesville. Yeah, they ran really well. Um, you know, it's a different in environment, a little more humid environment uh, than we're used to, but uh, the women did a really good job. And um, our top two freshmen led us again and, and uh, ran ran uh, times in the 18s for 5K, which was great. Uh, went out and competed, and uh, then our old, older girls closed down the scoring and uh, turned out to be a good, uh, good team meet for us, but uh, f great competition. And then uh, talk a little bit about the men. Um, they had ran some really good times as well. Talk a little bit about their performance. Yeah, we had some uh, lifetime best. Um, Gabe uh, O'Keefe got in our all-time top 10 list here at IPFW. Um, uh, ran 2640, lifetime best by 18 seconds over uh, last year when he was a freshman and um, did a great job of leading us. And uh, Brett Unger tied his uh, career PR at 2752. Uh, Kurt Unger at 2740 uh, was about 40 seconds better than his best time last year as a freshman. Uh, so uh, those three did a great job up front for us. And then uh, our other guys closed down the scoring pretty good. Uh, so it was a good team meet and uh, good competition for us on a, on a great course down at the University of Florida on their golf course. So. And then now the team travels down to Louisville this Saturday. Um, you guys raced there last year, had a lot of personal bests down there. Um, does knowing the course a little bit help? Uh, sure, sure it does. Uh, you know, I, I had heard different things about the course last year, but I had never taken a team down there. And so uh, I learned uh, pretty pretty quickly after the men's race uh, what I needed to uh, what guidance I needed to give the girls because mm -hmm. um, there is a pinch point at about it, maybe 250 meters and and if you don't get out really quickly in that that first 45 seconds or or so uh, you just get buried by people mm -hmm. and uh, then you have to pass big big swaths of people in a race of, of three to four hundred athletes it just you just uh, it just takes so much energy mm -hmm. uh, to get around these big packs, and so the energy expenditure in that beginning is crucial. And where our men, uh, I really couldn't give them that guidance. I didn't realize how that would play out, and they kind of got uh, jammed up a little bit at the beginning, uh, and had to kind of fight their way back all the way. When I prepared the girls uh, in our run out, you know, I, I emphasized how important it was. They all got out well, and then. The team obviously was second and had, a, had some good personal best. So, um, you know, cer certainly seeing a course, you start learning to tactically uh, attack it. So it helps. And then uh, talking about the course uh, and this t year's team, how do you think this team um, will do attacking this, the course this year? I think they'll do well. I think they'll do well. I think we've got, a, you know, just a, a lot of youth on our team, a lot of young, talented runners. And, um, they're learning. They're learning the college races and and college courses and college competition. And uh, but I think they've man, they've just done an outstanding job this year. So I'm expecting good things on Saturday. I think we should get cooler temperatures. Um, it could be uh, you know could be a little wet. Don't know how that's going to play out. Uh, but um, but I think we'll we'll compete well. So I'm, I'm looking forward to Saturday. All right. Thanks, Coach. And for this weekend's results, check out GoMastodons.com.